for greetings and salutations guys and girls it's the off-grid warrior and welcome back thank you for coming back uh, if you don't know who i am essentially i'm just a guy who decided to hand build a log shelter up on a mountain and then attempt to live in it through winter now today i'm going to be doing something a little bit different i have a product that i'm going to be reviewing and this is a, a product that i've wanted to get for some time now i just haven't pulled the trigger on it and i'm really happy to actually have one in my hands finally and to uh, test it out and not just test it out but use it this is something i am actually using and i'll uh, tell you what it's made my life a little bit easier up here in the winter shelter so let's take a look at what am i talking about well folks this here is a solar generator right and this one right here is actually made by a company called EcoFlow. This model is the EcoFlow Delta 1300. And let me tell you, I'm absolutely loving it. So let's get to some of the details on this here generator. And uh, I think we'll do that outside with a little more light and uh, some uh, nice scenery. Let's take a look at uh, what the front door looks like this morning. And uh, let's get out there and talk about this awesome solar generator. Now, for those of you who are unsure exactly what a solar generator is, essentially we're looking at a large battery that is wrapped around in some smart electronics and circuitry with a built-in inverter. This essentially allows you to run household items at 110 volts. That's pretty amazing. The coolest thing about a solar generator, folks, is that essentially you're looking at free power over here. Couple that with a few solar panels, which we have here. We'll be looking at that later. And uh, you've got free power, as long as you have sun, that is, all right? So that's pretty cool. Free power, renewable power over here. This is also backup power, a grid down situation, emergency situation. You can run all sorts of items that are important to you. Let's say you have um, a medical issue and, or let's say you're diabetic, you have insulin that needs to remain cool. Power goes out for a few days. This will be able to power a small refrigerator to keep, keep those medications cool. So there's various uses and scenarios that something, something like this can come in handy. Here's the great thing, uh, when you look at a solar generator versus a uh, typical gas generator, folks, the beauty about something like this is no gas, all right? <laughs> no fumes and silent, all right? It's quiet. This thing makes zero noise or little to none. For me out here, I don't want to be running a gas generator over here, right? Um, it's going to make a hell of a lot of noise and uh, it's going to give away my uh, location. I don't really want that, right? Not that I'm uh, doing anything top secret up here, but that's just something to keep in mind. If you're running a gen generator in a in a grid down situation, the power's been off in your neighborhood for a while, and you're the only person running a generator, everybody's going to know um, who's got lights and uh, who's sitting comfy. So uh, that's maybe something you don't want everybody to know. A little generator like this is going to do a perfect job uh, with that. So um, what are we basically looking, looking at over here as far as specs? Okay, so this is the EcoFlow Delta 1300. And essentially we're looking at a 1260 watt hour lithium ion battery. That's a big battery, all right? The output, the power output capability on this is 1800 watts and it has a surge rating of 3300 watts. So it's, it can put out a constant 1800 watts and let's say you have appliance plugged in that uh, spikes, has a spike in power, a surge, this will be able to tolerate that surge up to 3300 watts and that's just going to be for, for a short period. Now the most impressive thing about EcoFlow and what they've been able to do here. No other solar generator does this and that is you can charge this battery from zero to a hundred percent in under two hours. Now I don't know about you folks but uh, 
If you know anything about batteries, that's pretty impressive. I have small handheld batteries or backup batteries you would use for uh, charging a, a cell phone or small items. I have several of those and those all take me anywhere from 8 hours to 12 hours to charge, to fully charge. That's, uh, that's a long time. To have a 1260 watt hour battery, lithium ion battery, and have that charge in zero to 100 in under two hours is absolutely amazing. Actually, I know that uh, Yeti has a product out that is comparable. It's the Yeti, um, or the Gold Zero Yeti, excuse me, 1400, and that takes 24 hours to charge. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to wait 24 hours to charge up something like this. So that's, that's pretty impressive. Those are the basic specs on it. Let's take a closer look at the unit and see what we're dealing with. All right, so as you can see, we have a power button on the front over here. And I know this is going to be difficult to see out here. We will head inside and uh, plug in a few things at the end of this. But you can see we have a, a uh, little 99 over there that's showing how many hours are left. That means nothing right now until we plug something in. I've got an indicator here showing that I have 85% left in the battery and these rows over here the top row is the power input when you plug it in you will see exactly what power is coming in and then at the bottom over here you can see output and again when we plug items in here and start drawing from the battery we'll see what sort of power the battery is pushing out now on the front over here if you like me and uh, charge a bucket load of USB items you're covered over here look at all these USB options we've got this top row here is all USB A and we've got the older school USB A over there all right and then two on the end over here are the fast charge USB so a lot of the uh, newer cell phones uh, can take a fast charge you're covered here and then on the bottom we can see two USB C's all right and um, I know my tablet and, for instance, this GoPro that I'm using requires USB-C. So you covered there. On the sides of the unit, you can see some a, a grill over there and a grill over here. And there's actually two fans in there. And uh, when you power this up and you're pushing out AC power, the fans kick on and one side draws air in and the other side pushes the air out, cooling the system down. Now on the back here, check this out guys, six 110 volt AC outlets over here, that's pretty insane, I'm not sure why you'd want to plug in six AC uh, items over there, but uh, you know, you've got it, more power to you. Alright, so we've got that, and then at the bottom here, we can see an automotive style outlet over here, that's the type of outlet you'd see in your car, and so you're covered there. All right, pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the side over here where you're going to charge the item. And uh, we open this little door over here. And if we take a close look, you can see we've got an input here for solar panels. Next to that, we've got your household input charge port. And then at the end here, we have a reset button. Okay, now if we take a look at the solar panel over here, you can see that it'll take up to 65 volts and 10 amps max all right okay so while we're on the topic of solar panels right here i actually have a solar panel that ecoflow produces uh, this is an 85 watt panel i believe they do a 100 watt panel too and um, as you can see the best thing about this panel is check this out it's in a carry bag and it's fairly light it's portable and uh, i'm going to open it up we're going to set it up. This bag actually becomes a stand for the panel. And the panel's pretty cool too. I must say, I do like the panel. We'll talk a, a little bit more about that. But uh, let's set this puppy up and see uh, how we do that. Maybe, just maybe, I'll plug it in and see if we get any juice out of this sun today. I doubt it, but uh, hey, what the heck. Let's try it out.
Okay guys, so here we have the EcoFlow 85 watt panel and right now I have it hooked up to the Delta and as you can see it's a real easy setup folks just uh, stick the plug in and then you connect these MC4 connectors which are fairly standard in the solar panel industry they are waterproof and um, you should have power now I say should have folks because well we don't have any decent sunlight today and no solar panel is going to put out any power on a day like this so that is the downside to having a or depending on solar power for your juice now not every day is like this and if i manage this unit well um, i can actually have this running indefinitely up here now if i had a couple of weeks of no sun I may run into a problem with the generator the way I've been using it but um, I'm finding enough sun on those days that I'm up here to get some charge in it and keep it topped up and keep me going so um, yeah unfortunately we're not going to see any charge coming in from this panel today I'm sure you guys can understand that but there you go now I'll tell you what I do like about this kind of solar panel over here and uh, hopefully you guys can see this it has this matte finish on it, right? It's not shiny. This is not glass on the front over here, okay? The nice thing about a panel like this, folks, is stealth. Yeah, I said it again, stealth. When you are in the woods and you have solar panels, your typical solar panels up, which have a glass finish, finish on it, they're quite reflective. Now, if you have uh, people perhaps scouting around you or a plane flying overhead it's really easy to spot you when you have sh uh, shiny solar panels reflecting the sunlight sunlight it's a dead giveaway to your location these don't reflect hardly reflect due to whatever material they have on there and that's just super cool it also is pretty rough i don't know if you guys can hear that so this is a super durable panel, folks. I'm really impressed. Look at how thin this panel is. It's wafer thin. Absolutely amazing. I don't know how they do this. This isn't like the solar panels that I first played with. Um, really impressive. And you can see the way I hooked it up in the actual bag that you carry it in. It has these little carabiners over here that you can clip into the holes on the solar panel. And uh, you can see how the solar panel just sits in that carry bag. That's a great feature. You can also change the angle uh, while it's in the bag. If you need to tilt this, depending on where the sun is, that'll change the angle. And it has this uh, sort of sticky, almost leather, plastic-like uh, fabric. I'm not sure what it is over here that allows this panel to really stay in place when you slide it. Get it? There you go. Look at that. Just stays in place so really uh, well thought out for a portable solar panel now the other thing you can do with the EcoFlow is you can put multiple panels uh, in series hook them up and then feed up to 400 watts of solar panels into that unit the great thing like I mentioned earlier on uh, if you have existing solar panels you can use those solar panels with the EcoFlow, providing you use their plug on the Eco or the Delta end and just hook up your panels using MC4 connectors. So EcoFlow hasn't locked you into using just their panels. That's pretty cool. And uh, that's the solar panel, guys. I would have loved to show you this actually putting in a charge, but there simply is just not enough solar exposure today to do that. So um, there you go. So here we are guys enjoying uh, the last remaining bit of light. It is late afternoon and I'm gonna wrap this review up. Now, I'll be honest with you. I don't really use this EF Delta 1300 like uh, one can, all right? Um, I am not taxing this unit at all by any means. I don't really have any household 110 volt appliances that I run in the shelter, all right? Most of my needs are really easy. I'm charging things like uh, small USB batteries, cell phones. I have a tablet that I need to keep charged. And, um, you know, I also um, 
Actually, last week I did run a DeWalt or charged up a DeWalt battery using the unit. No problems there and that was plugged into the AC unit. But, uh, you know, again, I am not really putting any sort of load on this unit and quite frankly a guy like me with a solar solar panel this size will pretty much be able to stay out here indefinitely or at least let's just say as far as power goes I'm set for quite a long time now there is one little thing that I do use on a regular basis out here that requires 110 volts and um, I'm going to take you guys through that and we'll also take a look at the screen um, and the sort of information the screen gives you when you're actually running an appliance. So let's do this now. Let's fire up the unit, hit the power button and uh, let's take a look at the back over here. We're going to turn the AC inverter on by hitting that button. There she goes, she's fired up. And uh, right now, folks, let me get this and plug it in. Yep, don't want to lose that down the mountain. So we're plugged in right now. And uh, it's time to, you know, perform a fairly crucial task. Just because I live out in the woods, guys, doesn't mean I'm some kind of savage, all right? So uh, there you go, let's get her done. Now guys, I don't know what's going to happen out here. I might be in camp one evening and some female yeti walks down the mountain into camp. I'd better be presentable. And of course, nothing beats a nice warm blast of hot air on a cold day. <laughs> All right, on a serious note, folks, no, I don't um, run a hairdryer up here to uh, groom myself. Crazy thing is I actually bought this just for the review. This is a thousand watt hairdryer, all right? And um, let's run it and take a look at the display and see what sort of uh, information we get. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. Like I said, this is a thousand watt blow dryer, hair dryer, and uh, I'm gonna put it on half power, see what happens. Let's get a little. Right now. You can see that it's drawing 422 watts. And I can do this for another two hours. Let's turn it up. So now I'm drawing 953 watts. And I can do this for another 52 minutes. That's a lot of grooming, guys. <laughs> All right, so... Little tongue and cheek action over there. Um, so that's really my review of the EcoFlow Delta. I will tell you that I do actually use this. This isn't me just pulling out some kind of product for a review. I love this product. It's working really well for me so far. Um, and it's definitely made my life a lot easier up here. If you scroll down to the description underneath the video, you'll find a link there that'll give you more information on the EF Delta 1300. And most importantly, guys, if you enjoyed this review and would like to support me and some upcoming work that I'll be doing at the end of winter, I have a new adventure planned, but I'm going to need your support. Please visit the support page on offgridwarrior.com. I am also now officially on Patreon, and I really need you guys' uh, support. If you can, head on over to Patreon, look for Off-Grid Warrior, and you'll be able to support my upcoming adventure I'm planning. But I'm not going to be able to do it without your support. So anyways, folks, thank you for watching and uh, it's time to get out here and get warmed up. Uh, it's getting a little dark out here and it's starting to chill down. So we'll see you guys. Take it easy.